Jody, this one plays out like a mafia movie, a year-long campaign to silence witnesses, including a half a million dollar bribe, a guy who wore a wire in order to catch the bad guys, all in order to make those sex abuse charges just disappear. And it's all playing out in the ultra-Orthodox community in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. A coterie of people in the community that are hell-bent on intimidating. Brooklyn District Attorney Charles Hines is aggressively pursuing four Hasidic Jews who he says are trying to bribe and intimidate witnesses in a sex assault case. The four Williamsburg Hasidim were hit with a laundry list of charges for allegedly offering a half million dollar bribe to a couple to make a sex assault charge just go away, even intimidating them to leave New York and go back to Israel so the district attorney's office would have no case. They know that their children are uh, thrown out of yeshiva schools. They can, they can lose their apartment. All four pleaded not guilty in court today and each made bail, some of it as high as $75,000. They are uh, obviously going to be fighting these cases vehemently and they're looking forward to the day in court. The DA says Abraham Rubin is the ringleader charging him with bribery and witness tampering and coercion. Reuben is charged with offering a half a million dollars to the, um, the outcry witness and the victim to basically disappear. Hertzka, Joseph and Jacob Berger were charged with coercion and harassment and criminal mischief for destroying signage on a kosher store owned by the boyfriend of the woman who was allegedly molested as well as for making threatening yeah. phone calls. What do you think about the charges? The sect of ultra-Orthodox Jews is extremely insular, shying away from all media coverage. But tensions in the community were evident during a recent community gathering to raise defense funds for 53-year-old Nehema Weberman, who was accused of molesting a girl now 17 for three years. Many others protested protecting this accused abuser. And this is part of a concerted effort by the district attorney and the NYPD in order to get into this ultra-Orthodox community and help flush out pedophiles and rapists and other people who sexually assault women and young children. Since this initiative started in 2009, 139 have been prosecuted, while the DA says that witnesses are being kept completely anonymous. In downtown Brooklyn, I'm Kirsten Cole, PIX11 News.